campaign got campaign guide yet um i got uh requested to uh do a video on ruins of atlantis i suppose eventually i'll i mean there's so many levels i could just sit up there and do a video guide on all of them so to my understanding the only time i've seen my only uh, thing that I'm not 100% sure about with this com uh, combat system with this game is resistance to gear types. Because with the bosses, they'll show you the boss resistance. I'll show you the boss resistance. I'll show it to you because there's a boss all the time. So they'll show you the boss resistance. It's in challenges. So really, the last time I saw the resistance, it was a red. So I think it's just the spell type. So if you use uh, your blue spells, the boss is going to be resistant to it. But I do not believe I have found nothing even on the official channel that would indicate that gear types actually present certain. Um... OK, so hold on. Uh, got off track. So I don't think the gear types are uh <sighs> there are no resistance to the gear types but you do have resistance to the talents so anyway 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 my life been super dramatic lately my dudes super dramatic so i'm trying to process i'm actually processing other things that just happened so i'm gonna go to atlantis this is on hard difficulty i have i def i beat everything on um i beat everything on um Guardians, Kraken Hall, so I don't see Atlantis. Yeah, I don't see Atlantis. Oh. Royal Dumb Dome, Kraken Hall, Ivory Island, Marble City, Marble Mausoleum, Curse Cathedral. Okay, Ruins of Atlantis. Um, yeah, that is a... See, I, I didn't do too well with that either. I only got one star. So, hold on. I'll look at the boss and I'll show you how I... Of course, I'm going to do better now because it's been a while. And I've upgraded a lot. So, I know I'm going to beat it. But... Um, I'll look at it and see if I could figure out, you know, what might actually uh, do better. I lost it. I lost it. It wasn't cracking. I think it was the palace. Yeah, no, it's the last one. So we're going to see what's going on. I got 323. Come on, brah. Oh, man. Let's see if they let me in. Now they, I probably still got too much. If you're on Ruins at, of Atlantis, you're almost done. So congratulations. You're almost done with the campaign. But I'm going to see. Okay. So... In your first stage, you have three heavy units. Um, as far as my build, I focus on defense. 
I found being able to last long uh, really helps you in a lot of game modes. If you have high defense, then they can, then the bosses can't hit you as harder as hard, and you can last long. So um, it seems like de high defense and high crit is going to set you up for success with the most things. These are the talents I'm using, this Ice Dragon talent. And usually I don't use this wolf. But if you're struggling, you kind of want to get gear that heals. So my, uh, my secondary sword heals. This first skill that I have heals. And uh, I think the white skill heals as well. And one of them repairs my shield. So I think the white skill repairs my shield. So I keep on striking this uh, Dark Devourer in the middle and he's not going down. So I mean, you just saw what happened and I only got one star. I would have to get, I don't know. Where I'm at, the fact that that was so hard. I'm trying to see if I could give you some advice. So, if you are not, if you having trouble with a uh, campaign, so do upgrade your gear as much as you can. Go watch my uh, beginner equipment guide and just do that as much as you can. And then what you want to do is play with your talents. Okay, do different combinations of talents because it seemed like that's what matters the most strategy wise. Okay, either do that or just grind a few days, get get stronger and come back when you just ridiculously stronger. You know, when you just, you know, a lot stronger than the enemies you're fighting, which that don't take much strategy. But I do want to give strategy to those who, which I did do strategy. And also make sure uh, when you when you get methods that almost work, um, keep on trying because sometimes sometimes you could just get lucky and pass the stage. You know what I mean? And sometimes you just lose because the enemy got lucky. See, I got three. Oh, no, that happened because I went to next stage. <clears throat> Let me go back to Ruins of Atlantis. Yeah, these last bosses are pretty hard. My best advice is any of these talents that do AOE on the boss stages, AOE stands for area of effect. So if it's attacking multiple enemies, then you don't want to use that on the boss stage uh, because ideally you want to bust down and break down the boss as fast as possible because they're hitting you the hardest. So you're going to want these spells like this, this wolf spell. I just started using that one on the left because a lot of people in PvP and stuff use that. So I use that not only will it focus on that boss until I, you know, break that boss down. Uh, but it also heals me. So that's a good bonus. Um, gear that heals. That's what I do. I rely on gear that heals. Um, but you know, I tried that gear where the, with the dodge, I'll play with dodge. Cause I see, I feel like that can make you very difficult to defeat if you have high dodge. So I'm going to play with that. But I have not yet mastered that. But I have mastered and completed the campaign by doing by focusing on defense. So with my collection scrolls, I do high defense. You know what I mean? I love max out my uh, focus, prioritize my defense slots. And then I do um, my secondary heals. And it's not even it, to this point, to this day, it's still not. It don't even have one star on it. But that little healing goes a long way. So my other weapon that I was using, I don't even think I still have it. Had more, uh, yeah, this one. 
Now this one, oh no, I don't want to switch it permanently. I don't want to switch that. This one will revive you, but I mean, it'll give you full health. And it's like, they could miss and, you know, they could knock you down low and then miss a few times and you could go down from having, you can go back up from 20% health to like 80 to 100 if you have this little wind sword. Only thing is there haven't been any chests with it. So I had to rely on, um, on, uh, what is that called? Uh, extracting. So I would extract it. I have one extra of these. And once I extract all the rest of my gear, uh, one more time, then I'm going to reset that, extract this again, and then I could go ahead on and give this wind sword, uh, a, uh, a, uh, uh, give it a star. But yeah, that's my advice on a, on a uh, campaign. If you just almost got it, then step one, just keep on trying because you may get lucky and uh, you may just get lucky and beat them. But if it's not, if it's, if it's close, but just is not getting close enough to where you're going to beat them, you understand? Then play with those talents. Go to your shrine, go to the city, go to the shrine. And if you have these uh, seeds, go ahead on and level up. Um, so this this wolf talent is good for bosses. Um, this one is this I was using that one before. Um, I don't I don't see too many people use these three, but a lot of people use that one. So I jumped on the, a lot of top ranking people use this skill, and I see why because it, it has a chance of healing you. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be my beginner's, uh, campaign guide. And this is going to be my, um, uh, beginner's, uh, uh, ruins of Atlantis guide. Okay. So I guess I could do a series. I'll go through all the levels. I'll probably do, um, per stage. And just go through the whole, all the levels in that stage, every video and give advice, you know, what I can re recollect from when I was fighting those stages and just put those guides out there. So when people need that information, you just go look up your, your, uh, campaign, uh, stage, and then you know what you got to do, but yeah. Thanks for watching, my dudes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you on the next video.